kind of hard to describe. I mean, even from waking up in the morning and opening the curtains and seeing our soccer team down practicing or our football te team practicing and walking out on the balcony for breakfast and again, listening to uh, our coaches, uh, you know, calling calling practice. And it, it's, it's really a, a very, very unique experience. I don't know if it exists anywhere else in the world, uh, something quite like this where you've got a condominium building right in a uh, a football stadium or a, or a sports and entertainment uh, stadium and uh, you know so it's 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 very unique and when people come here they feel like they're at a suite at TD Place but they're actually in my home and and I don't know how many times people have asked me do you actually live here and because on game days it, it we've kind of any signs of day-to-day -day living are kind of uh, not not immediately visible and people feel like they're they've arrived at, at a suite at TD Place. It would be certainly uh, bittersweet to to sell it and move on. You know, when you're out on this balcony and you look one way and you see this world-class football stadium, and you look a little to the right and there's the Rideau Canal, and 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 I almost feel like this is our version of a cottage, and uh, I, I just love it here. Uh, it, it almost gives you that being in the stadium camaraderie because more often than not uh, there are a number of people here you know I've had as many as 50 60 people comfortably on this balcony watching a game and high-fiving everybody uh, and and so it's uh, it's it's been a lot of fun and but like anything uh, you know uh, it, it's uh, something that I, I could move on uh, if if uh, if the right scenario uh, unfolds